Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Woodland Realm campaign. Let's fight this small captain, it's just a couple of very easy units. Now I'm gonna capture the other city that you've seen there, the other castle. Mostly because then Arknodion can be captured by my King Thranduil. That will end most of uh, Dolgodur's uh, defenses, you know. Let's start the deployment. Not the best kind of terrain for that. I guess if I can take the hill, it is. So Every single unit but this guy is an archer unit, so this should be fairly easy. There you go. Is there anyone that has... Yeah, these guys have... Skirmish mode. This guy actually has that. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I'm pretty sure the, the AI is gonna try and position them here, so I'm gonna cut off that. Remove these guys here. I think if I use the swiftness, they will move a little slightly faster. Let's go. Yeah, the A is going over there. It's kind of fine. No, actually, no. He's coming over right over here. So this actually is going to pay off. Like I can stop them, and they will immediately start attacking. I'm predicting that these orc raiders and those orc raiders are just going to lose all the units very fast. So. Yeah, these are 200 and... Uh, okay, not 200 anymore, I guess, after next volley. Yeah, these guys are also getting a volley. They're getting javelins on their faces, so that's nice. Yep. It's okay, as long as those guys are hiding and these guys are not getting attacked by my own archers, I'm doing just fine. That's already half their men, almost. Okay, who are these guys attacking? You know, anyone that is over here? Yeah, they are, you know, it's raining and they are on the high ground, so that's why they're not taking any casualties there, or very low casualties, I would say. Yeah, the cavalry can start moving over here. My archers are taking these work raiders. I wish they would uh, run away so that they would attack these. Of course I can tell them to attack um, directly, but I kind of want to see if I don't even have to do that. Half the enemy force remains. I guess this is the captain, so yeah, that Captain's won't happen. Yeah, so let's just tell them to attack specific targets and that's it. Okay, so these guys, I'm going to tell them to engage. Yeah, finally those archers did something. And these orc raiders, they're just going to die easily. And there's like... Nothing from the previous unit. The enemy general flees like the cowardly yeah, that's the general there. And break the spirit of his army. Let's attack here. I guess I didn't even need to attack like there, this, but I mean, just this charge should cause them to rout. It did it, honestly. Hmm, okay. Gotta be careful with that. I guess one volley is good enough. I'm just telling them to attack one by one, because it's much better overall. And these guys are already pursuing there. It's okay. Yeah, they're banded together so much. My archers are just gonna kill them so very fast, so that's cool. The enemy army yeah, continue the battle. That guy is already right pursuing that. That's nice. Group 2, I guess you're gonna pursue that. There we go. Yep. Yeah. There we go, it's done.
Okay. So just uh, a slight demonstration of how arches go. I like these full archer armies from Woodland Realm, you know. I'm trying to go into more uh, heavy infantry as well, but I don't think I'll need them at all, you know. I could do just straight up elven archer units against the enemies that I have, of course. So I'm going to see if I can push Dorn or Hawk there. Let me see. Come, my brother. Take it for the elves. We protect the elven lands. Yeah, I can push it, and then they will have to defend the, uh, the place. Uh, I'm just going to double check yes, here. So this is a. Uh, yes, as you wish. Yeah, this Galabrain is still a Dolguldur village. It does have some interesting mines, so let's provide some some, some stuff. Order's completed. Okay, I guess I'm building up all the units that I need. Yes, my lord. I think I should be moving some units over to this area. Come, my brothers. What does he have? He has a decent army. I mean, this army can survive some stuff. So we'll see about that on the next turn. Let's check it out. Yeah, I guess next campaign I'm gonna follow it differently. Like I'm gonna go straight forward, capture the best settlement uh, early on with uh, all the units that I have, you know, and bypass some settlements just to to make sure that I get my money going, you know. It's a, a different idea. Like for instance, here I could go against the Misty Mountains, and it's a huge income income over there. Hey, the Haven Master of Linden is killed. Amazing. That's not a good deal. Okay, so Goblin Town is definitely from the Veilsman. That's a good idea. That's a good thing. I'm having some troubles with the money, but right now I've built the buildings that I could, you know. So it's not like I'm doing anything that it's uh, not cool. I can get Elbereth guards. That's nice. Nothing that I can. Isengard is not coming against me. That is not cool but it's not that bad as well swiftly be wary come on yes my lord ready else yes my lord okay there we go these guys are doing great these guys are not free upkeep i don't know why i guess this guy i can send him over there there's no need for me to to be scattering for upkeep you know Just gonna check if there's anything that I can build up here. No, doesn't seem like it. Come on. Yeah, I can already push over there. I think so. I'm risking a little bit with this guy just because I need to spot where the the troops are. You know, if there's any threats coming in. Invasion forces and stuff. Yes, From this area, it's difficult because there's not a lot of places where they can cross. So most of the invasion armies should come in from here. Pretty sure that the invasion would fail on its own. You know. Okay, so there is a Hotter Dream General with nothing. I'm not going to even bother with that guy. Uh, but I am going to siege Dornar Hark. There we go. It does have uh, some mines that produce 300, so that's cool. Rune, is Rune sending any forces? I have no idea. I have no idea and that I don't have anyone that can double check that, so it's going to be difficult. Could produce some units there, but I mean, I'm already starving and I need to get these two best armies over there. I have three armies right now, that's the difference of Zakala, wow. I guess streamlining for Zakala is a, a, a deal as well. Now there's no Muma kill here, right? I hope so. They don't. They no longer have that. So what we have here? I have already a decent army here. What am I doing? I can send all of these guys except the the one I, the one guy that it's really bad. Novice governor. Okay, I guess this guy is the best one to go. Yeah, to go along Thranduil because he's not not a good guy at all. 
There we go. Population growth minus one. Wow. Elves. That's fine, I guess. So how many archers do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's plenty. Plenty. Over here, elves. Plenty and enough. We will need that one. I could even get another unit there, but I really want to push. So yeah, I'm gonna have face a couple of those uh, me. invasion armies very soon. Hey, I got this guy. He's a night fighter. Gotta be careful with that. So we're just gonna send this guy away. Yeah, there we go. Where's the other agent? Yes, Where's the other diplomat? Yeah, it's here. Yes. Just want to make sure that I spot. Yeah, Kazadum is also a nice place to attack. You know. Just because of the whole money that it provides, Without you know, the the, the dwarves, they, their units cost so much, and they're still one of the elves. the most effective uh, here, elves. Elves. guys there are. I mean, they they're always the the richest faction because of that. I will defend my people. Yeah. Okay. Threat was holes. This guy's going to go over there. Okay. Got everything. So there's one faction that it's gone, which is works in the Misty Mountains, and the old dude will go second. And then I can just focus on getting Mordor. If I kill Sauron, then there's not going to be any invasions. And I, honestly, I do achieve my uh, objectives, or most of them. I mean, I won't have, um, I won't have the buildings, honestly. The the buildings, the settlements, though. That's interesting. Mutlord of Enedweth is dead. The rangers are flourishing, that's cool to hear. Okay, I'm broken for money, but I can change that easily. Now I can go into the tax rate. Yeah, that's most of the, the reason. Forgot that oh since I moved these guys, that's that would happen, of course. Um, Rune is sending units, but it's Lord, only Lord. their generals. No armies for now. There's no threat there for now. Okay, I guess I should move this guy over there. Build a couple watchtowers over here just to spot, you know. And he'll also be a general if the, anything comes around. Okay, this guy. Should I attack? I mean, this is a capital settlement and the, he does have two Kamul shadow bows. So I think I'm just gonna stay put. I, I have already built, so if I need, I'll attack. Um. Could use this spy here. Gotta and check that he doesn't build too much. But I can attack right now and take that settlement. Probably they will sell you out. So what do we have here? There's Merkwood Uruk Pikes, which is an interesting unit. Uruk Blades, which is an interesting unit. But other than the Work Marauders I'm, and the General, I'm not too I'm worried to about. And there's other two Marauders here. So I think this is going to be the, the best battle probably for me. This is the guy who declared the invasion there. Okay, I'm broke for money, so that's why I couldn't build the this. So I'm just gonna station this guy here. You know, as soon as I deal with Dolguldur and a couple of these invasion armies, then I think I can do it. So let's do this battle. Of course he will come in. No, I can attempt a night attack, but it won't change the balance of power or anything. Now, my archers for sure can deal with just what is over here, and then I would have to deal with this army in full hands-on attack and stuff. But that's just very easy for the kind of troops that I have here. So yeah, let's fight it out. Don't have a lot of armies, but it will be nice. I mean, I don't have a lot of archers, but it will be nice. Sorry. Okay, I'm deciding. Um, I think they might just not stay in place, which would be better for uh, for him. 
I can just try to get my troops here, which would be a much better place to attack. And honestly, with, with this higher ground here, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So these guys are light infantry. These guys are medium infantry, skilled against mounts. Everyone is good against mounts. So I'm just going to put these guys on the very middle. These guys flanking. Yeah, there we go. And then this guy and this guy will flank up together as well. So that's the main line. And what a powerful line it is. Spearman Yvonne has chosen an Elbereth Guards. Nothing gets through there, that's for sure. There we go. Could even station some stakes, but I don't think that would be necessary. There we go. I, I think this is how I'm gonna do hang on. I want these guys to attack there as well, so there we go. You need that. You have that. No skirmishing mode able. Everyone has the guard mode? Yeah. So these guys, I'm going to put him uh, over here, and this guy, he's going to stay back. Uh, I don't need him initially. So there they are, and I'm going to move them really fast. Yeah, I can have shield run me in other formations, but honestly, that's not what I want. I want to move as close as possible to him. Yeah, there we go. There's a host and all that. Now it's raining. I hate that it's raining, actually. Because my archers sh can't get too much with that. With the rain. I mean... Yeah, I really think he's going to push forward, so... I'm going to establish this different hot different line there. There we go. My archers can pull them. Then the enemy... the other enemy army is coming over here. So that's cool, we're focusing them properly. Okay, so let's just do this and make sure that everyone goes perfectly well. I want the archers to be able to attack as much as possible. Like, even the do hitting the Dolkudur archers is not a bad idea. It's just two units of them. Then there's the Warg Marauders there. Oh, who can hit them? There we go. There we go. Let's hit these guys. Okay, there we go. Let's hit the Marauders with everything that we've got. There we go. They were discovered, these infantry units. So he's probably not going to engage now. The War Marauders, they are the best troops that he has. And he's losing them very fast. So right now I'm winning this just by taking care of their units without him taking care of mine. I told you guys to move over there and you didn't move. So right now that's your problem. Okay, those work marauders and these work marauders, they're no longer going to cause too much trouble, you know. So... These Dolkudur archers, they are the target. And those orc raiders now are the target. And the Dolkudur hosts as well. There we go, let's run. They still have plenty of archer fire, but it's only 12%. I guess I should attack right now before sending too many arrows over here. What's that? That's another war marauder there. So the Dolgudur archers, I'm gonna take with this guy. Let 
Divine is chosen, you can attack there. You can hit those. You can hit those. And Woodland Scouts and all, you're just gonna move here. There we go. You can move these guys here. Only half the enemy force remains. There we go. Yeah, I want to... I don't want the Dale cavalry to do the battle. I just want them to put them fighting. The now I can remove them. Will be ours. Now I can remove them. These guys are now in place. They do have the auto-fire capabilities there, but it's cool. Enemy general lies dead. <laughs> Very nice. These guys are just amazing units. These Kurtinen. Those Wong Marauders aren't doing too much. I kind of wanted to see if they would, you know, break off. Yeah, come on, Albert Guards. I don't need you to pursue. Not the Hoguldur Archers, of course. So I'm just going to push there, and these archers, I'm going to take the helm there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cavalry is pushing these Dolgodur archers, I'm going to move over there to capture them. Yeah, I know that there's some Dolgodur archers there attacking, but it's okay. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to Yeah, I'm telling the archers to move slowly because I don't want to have them um, using their arrows at any point. And I don't want to, you know, force them to go out of the auto fire there. I'll probably won't be able to force them. Well, I am forcing them to move, so that's kind of a cool idea. Okay, you guys are gonna go here. You guys stop the fire. You guys, you're gonna move over there. While you guys, certainly, you're gonna move here. There we go. Cavalry is doing the pursuit action, as they should. Now the secondary army is so showing up. Thank you. So that's all you need. Some Dalesmen to do the job. Let's pursue those guys, then you, you, as soon as you end there, you'll be able to return to the battle. So right now I want to move fast. Yeah, I want to move fast, because I want to take this very good high ground. There's the Kamul units, and I know that a couple of these guys might be able to attack. No, not really. There we go. Who are you attacking? Who's your target? He's hitting Orc Maulers. Let's hit the Pikes. Work mullers. Where's the. Oh, there we go. There they are. There we go. Kevry can go over here. There we go. Okay. Arches of Mergood. Let me stop this twice. Dogudu host, Mollers, Mercudu plates. Those spikes aren't important, these spikes are. Yeah, and those works. The works are important because they can cause a lot of damage with the charge. And it can be surprising to me. Hit the Kamul's shadow bows. I want to end them as fast as possible. If they cannot hit them, then it's it's okay. Where's this guy? They're far away, so yeah. I guess you're not hitting orc raiders or anything. 
Yeah, but you're hitting anything that can be hit, so that's okay. Yeah. Guess the more Kamul Shadow Knights I kill, the better, and then also hitting some com some um, Uruk Pikes because they are nearby, so that's cool. There we go. Orc Maulers are never going to reach. And if they do, come on, Elbereth Guards. It's very easy for you guys, isn't it? Flaming Ammunition, that's even better. Okay, there's the Shamu's Shadow Knights getting lost there a little bit. Now, I think he's going to attack this guy. Or, or maybe not, he's actually moving in. Yeah, so these Orc Maulers are attacking here, that's not a good idea. I haven't been able to hit those Orc Marauders. I'm gonna do that with the last few archers that I have. Those guys aren't gonna hit that. Where's the... where's the other... Pikes? There we go! Woodland Scouts, you gotta move in melee now. Oh nice! You're under attack by the archers and you're attacking there. That's cool. I guess you're still gonna be attacking there. That's cool. Work Mauler's Mercuduk Blades. Okay. Can I attack these guys with this? There we go. I'm gonna attack here because these guys are just swarming over there. As long as the general dies easily, I think I'm doing just fine. This guy. Let's fight here. Let's fight over there. Woodland Scouts really needed to go against this Markwood Wood Blade. There we go. Don't worry. They will do the damage that is required with just a couple of charges. And these guys are suffering because of all that pressure. But they will fight to the bitter end, so I guess that doesn't count too much. Let's take that out. Send the Elven King's God, yes, for sure. So, yeah, their units are fighting actually normally to the death. Oh, that's because the Kamuls are still alive. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. There we go. Where's the cavalry? Hi, cavalry. Keep doing that. Can just pursue here. There we go. The spell turns to against the wizard. There we go. I need to send someone that can deal with them very fast. Yeah, I could pursue those guys, but I really want to finish the infantry first. Let's attack this. How many men have I lost? 17%. That's nothing compared to what I'm gaining here. There we go. Kamul Shadow Guards, they're losing. And I've just put in the guys who honestly have some bonuses against them. There you go, let's move fast. I want you to kill that Nazgul. There we go. There we go. I hope that will be enough. So these Orc Maulers are dead.
Let's attack those Dolgodur archers. I don't know if the archers are doing the most damage. I think they are not. The pikes over here, they're doing mostly damage. Yeah, these stalkers, they're just fighting to the death because the general has yet to die. Really? I have that unit over there? Oh, that's so bad. Let's see if I can find that. I think I'm gonna kill everyone before killing that general. Okay, these are just two orc raiders, they should die. There we go. There you go, you're fighting these Dolgodur archers. Uh, that's not a good place because they are surrounded, the cavalry is surrounded there. Honestly, I can send these guys in. They're fast enough to pursue like that. There we go. Actually, no, let's go over here against these Merkwood Hunters. Over here... Yeah, I'll just need those. These guys, I don't need them. There we go. Come on, let's get this Kamul Shadow Guard. Okay, they're fighting to the death, so the only thing that can kill me here is actually the Kamul Shadow Knight there. These guys can actually push forward easily. And catch up to them because they're so tired. Finally, general is dead. If the general had fallen earlier, I wouldn't have lost so many units. But I mean, look at the numbers. I've lost nearly nothing here. Fairly effective units that I can get. Yeah, there's almost nothing left. Uh, sorry about that. It minimized here. Let's continue the battle. I really need to push them out and to completely vanquish them. If I don't do that, that won't happen. So come on, please catch up to them. They are not going straight forward, so I may be able to catch these force of the Oguldur Arches. Please catch a couple of them. I really need them. There we go. More. Okay, maybe that won't be enough for them to hold the castle. Because I really need them for, to do that. Okay, heroic victory. Hopefully that won't be enough. Remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Still got some casualties healed up. I didn't see the, the stats on my king or whatever, but they're pretty cool. Plenty of deaths. You know, archers the best. They're very good. The, the biggest problem with archer armies is they're very good against uh, one army. They're very bad against the second army because they have wasted their ammunition. You know. So let's see if the Achnodion gets free for the conquest. It does. So I can capture the place, and that should ease up my finances. So I don't know what is over here. That's the best army, let's say, per se. And Karas Galadon has a full regiment, so they're pretty fine. Capturing Ahnodian, that does give me some more money, so I'm pretty sure that I'll be fine with that. Yep. Now, what can I get? I can destroy this. I don't need to destroy anything there. Like, Everything that is over here produces some stuff. Yeah. Even the war breeders, so I'm pretty fine with that. Hey, I'm free to have some money now. So as soon as I capture this place, then I'll for sure have enough money. You know, that's that's good. That's good to hear. This guy's gonna station there. Actually, I'm gonna move here because I don't want any threats. Uh, any problems there. This is free upkeep, so I guess I should keep that up. 
swiftly, Elven warriors. This guy's gonna move here. At ease. Conceal our movements. For the light. Onward. And I still have yet to approach with those units. Yep, yeah, it's kind of bad that I didn't take Goblin Town. And I cannot take Dolbreen easily. Oh, that's from Dunedain, so yeah, there's no point now. Okay, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.